The ghosts of the former Republic of Yugoslavia still hide in the countries that have taken its place. Although not many people know it, the majestic landscapes in those nations are scattered with secret tunnels and bunkers explicitly built for the needs of a now bygone era. Some of these structures have found new purposes, but others have decayed due to the passage of time. Such is the case of the ruins of the subterranean Zhelyava Airport. This underground airbase holds a lot of secrets about the Croatian War of Independence, as well as the Cold War, and very few know about its existence. This photo shows the massive underground airport, which held Air Force hangars and military barracks. Located under what is now the border between Croatia and Bosnia-Herzegovina, this bunker could house over a thousand people, and had a communication system meant to serve as a Cold War-era ballistic missile warning mechanism. Many countries had similar facilities, but what made Zhelyava unique was its location. Since it was built inside a hollowed-out mountain, the airbase was practically indestructible. Although Yugoslavia enjoyed relative Cold War peace and quiet as part of the non-aligned movement, its authorities nevertheless made significant investments in military defenses after the ending of World War II. One of those investments was a maximum security bomb-proof airbase called Objekat 505, better known today as the Zhelyava Airbase. It was located in what today is the border between Bosnia-Herzegovina and Croatia, inside Mount Plezhevica. Protected by the mountain, officials claimed this facility could withstand a 20 kiloton nuclear bomb, the same force as the bomb that fell in Nagasaki in August 1945. The Yugoslavian government began construction on a secret project in 1948. The underground building was finished 20 years later. With a total cost of around $6 billion, it was one of the most extensive and expensive military structures the world had seen at the time. Some speculate that a big part of that money had been funneled from the World Bank. The underground airbase was built with four entrances, custom-made pressurized retractable doors, and exits capable of launching MiG fighter jets. Objekat 505 had tunnels of over two total miles in length. These tunnels could house up to two complete fighter squadrons, including one for reconnaissance missions and full maintenance and mechanical upkeep facilities. The base was equipped with MiG-21 BIS fighter aircraft for their fighter aviation squadron, and the reconnaissance aviation squadron had MiG-21 reconnaissance fighter aircraft. This airport was equipped with an underground mess hall big enough to house a thousand people. It was also stocked with enough food, supplies, and armament to last a full month in case of an emergency. Above the ground, the Zhelyava Air Base had five different runways in its vicinity, as well as numerous tracking and targeting radars, interceptor systems, motorized infantry bases, and military police stations. The airbase's access points were heavily monitored and guarded. Its keepers were authorized to fire upon anyone attempting to enter without previous authorization. The Objekat 505 airbase was used intensively in 1991, until its destruction by the Serbians during the Croatian War of Independence. With instructions from famed Marshal Josip Tito himself, the underground base was demolished with built-in explosives. The area was so extensive that the job took the army almost a year to complete. To prevent any potential further use of the underground complex by Croatian and Bosnia-Herzegovina enemy forces, the Serbian military set off an additional 56 tons of explosives in 1992. This explosion was so powerful that nearby cities felt the earth-shattering sound of the bombs, Residents claimed that smoke plumes continued to rise from the tunnels for almost a year after the explosion. The once vast facility that housed an array of fighter jets is now silent and abandoned. Hopes of reconstruction are slim because of the money the repairs would require. It now only boasts rusting metal and holes in the ceilings that look like they can cave in at any time. The tunnels are completely dark. The air is polluted from all the bombs deployed in the base for its destruction. Given the extensive number of mines in the vicinity of the area, visiting the base is quite risky. In 2000, a Bosnian Air Force major died after setting off a mine while searching for edible mushrooms. In early February of 2023, Iran unveiled a sprawling underground airbase that its leaders claim will be able to repel a full-scale enemy attack. A video shared on state media accompanied by a detailed press release, revealed Iran's latest clandestine underground facility, complete with a fleet of 40-year-old American-made fighter jets. 
Iranian authorities also announced that the nation's air force expects to receive at least three dozen modern Russian fighters this year to take up residence in the mysterious base. Recognizing the potentially dangerous implications of such a base, open source intelligence monitoring groups promptly took to web forums to discuss the location of the facility. Although Iranian authorities did not reveal the exact location of Eagle 44, the accumulating evidence provided ample material for online commenters to analyze. On February 7th, 2023, the official anniversary marking the participation of air officers in the 1979 Islamic Revolution, Iranian state media Tasnim News Agency reported the unveiling of the nation's army's latest underground base, codenamed Eagle or Ogab 44. Alongside the press release, the official news agency IRNA also released images and a video segment filmed inside the newly constructed base. Broadcast on national news, the footage features Iranian Armed Forces Chief of Staff Major General Mohammad Bagheri and Iran's Army Chief Major General Abdul Rahim Mousavi touring the Ogab 44 base, the first of its kind in the Islamic Republic. As explained by state media, the technical airbase can accommodate and prepare various aircraft, including fighter jets, bombers, and unmanned aerial vehicles. For missions designed to withstand possible strikes by United States bunker-busting bombs. The expanding underground complex is carved into an Asmari limestone rock formation, with four north-facing entrances connected to an uncovered 1.8-mile surface runway. Composed of concrete walls, ceilings, and floors, the Ogab 44 base contains various sections and rooms, including an alert area, warplane hangars, a command post, navigation and airport equipment, fuel tanks, and a repair and maintenance center. Based on the photographs, the only visible equipment appears to be a bright yellow cart, likely a starter cart designed to provide air conditioning power for ground operation and starting up jets. As per the video segment, the large subterranean airbase is also equipped to receive the Iranian Air Force's newest fighter jets and prepare them for missions. Inside the base, Iran holds mostly Russian MiG and Sukhoi fighter jets, some dating all the way back to the Soviet era, as well as some Chinese-made aircraft like the Chengdu J-7. These and all future aircraft will be able to reach the runway through two partially covered taxiways measuring 0.86 and 1.1 miles in length. In the visible portion of the base, a single elongated tunnel contains five revetments, each housing an American F-4 Phantom fighter jet. These McDonnell Douglas Western aircraft trace their origins to 1979, when the jets were sold to Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, the Shah of Iran, before the Islamic Revolution. At the time of the sale, Iran, bolstered by oil exports, received over 200 F-4 Phantom fighter jets. According to several documents, 58 of these F-4s remain in operation, boasting a 60% availability rate. The jets are observed to be equipped with white-painted AGM-65 Maverick missiles, a type of laser-guided bomb, and in at least one case, what appears to be a Nasser anti-ship cruise missile. Ogab 44 is just one of several tactical underground bases established by the Iranian Air Force in recent years. Designed to withstand powerful attacks from the regime's enemies, namely the United States and Israel, the bases are usually located beneath mountainous areas to enable surprise aerial operations in locations and times the opponents should least expect. Though the base currently houses a small number of aging American fighters, new Russian jets due to arrive in the spring could potentially occupy the enigmatic facility. While the state media reports did not disclose the Ogab 44's exact location, it initially reported that it was located hundreds of feet beneath the mountains, deep enough to withstand bombings by strategic enemy aircraft. Nevertheless, as soon as the base was announced in early February of 2023, Western Internet users began speculating about its location. The presence of anti-ship missiles in the photographs suggests that the base is likely not situated in the mountainous north of the country, as the nearby Caspian Sea lacks hostile naval forces. Previously accessible satellite images from mid-2021 showed that the process of building an airbase started in the mountains in southern Iran, including the development of underground hardened hangars within the base's territory, where an airstrip had not yet been established. Additional clues about the precise location are related to the aircraft themselves. 
the F-4 Phantom has a combat radius of approximately 400 miles, roughly the distance the plane can fly while armed with weapons before needing to turn back to complete the return journey. Considering this, online commenters speculated that the base was likely situated around 100 miles from Iran's southern coast, enabling it to threaten land targets in Kuwait and Saudi Arabia while simultaneously targeting naval forces from the United States and its European Union allies. Less than a week after the initial announcement, open-source intelligence monitoring groups allegedly succeeded in determining the geolocation of the Ogab-44 underground airbase. Joseph Dempsey, a defense researcher working with the International Institute for Strategic Studies, shared on his Twitter account that the new base is situated in southern Iran and posted the coordinates. This location places the Ogab-44 base 74 miles northeast of Bandar Abbas, and about 18 miles west of Tarom Hormozgan. According to online commentators, Eagle 44's most formidable adversary might not even be human. Based on the photographs and videos, there appears to be no visible form of ventilation within the base, such as air shafts in the ceiling or fans designed to expel poisonous carbon monoxide and circulate fresh air. In an emergency, an explosion inside a base filled with so many diesel-powered machines could result in a devastating blast. In the words of Golam Reza Jalali, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps General who leads the passive defense organization, the Ogab 44 base could be a game-changer during times of war, potentially forcing the enemy to reconsider its military calculations. Even without modern aircraft or a large fleet, Iran's new and costly underground airbases could provide the nation with some degree of aerial first strike capability against United States-owned naval assets in the Persian Gulf, Gulf of Orman, and the Arabian Sea. Unlike surface bases, which can easily be detected by the enemy before a conflict, underground facilities usually remain concealed until missiles, drones, and fighter jets emerge. As the video showcasing the latest Iranian base circulates online, its construction could prompt other countries in the region to enhance their underground facilities or develop new ones. But given that this particular base's location is now accessible to anyone with a computer, the Department of Defense may already be taking specific measures to safeguard its assets in the area. Far in the east, a powerful force awakens. China is now the custodian of the world's most advanced hypervelocity wind tunnel. It symbolizes a future of dreadful hypersonic weaponry that the West must ready itself to counter. This groundbreaking wind tunnel is more than a feat of engineering. It is a venue for China to test daring new prototypes, machines of such potency that their existence could dramatically upend the global balance of power. In a bold display of confidence, the Chinese government has released gripping footage of this mechanical superstructure. The hypervelocity wind tunnel, an embodiment of raw power, simulates extreme conditions, replicating the intense speeds of up to Mach 30. Concerningly, the video also reveals a delta-winged, dart-shaped vessel spacecraft, signaling the dawn of a potential space launch fighter initiative. The ominous images now stir the world, igniting concern and speculation. The United States and its Western allies must prepare to confront this burgeoning hypersonic threat. The scales of power teeter towards the east, and the world braces for the potential shockwaves this could trigger. The modern theater of global military strategy is ablaze with the high-stakes drama of the hypervelocity arms race. Amidst this heated competition, unsettling murmurs echo throughout the halls of power, with experts suggesting the United States may have lost its footing to China in this crucial sphere. High-profile voices, including the head of defense titan Raytheon, have voiced an alarming truth. The U.S. may be trailing China in pursuing hypersonic weapons by years rather than months. These formidable devices, capable of breaching Mach 5, possess game-changing tactical advantages, promising to redraw the warfare map and reconfigure global power dynamics. These weapons' blistering speed and pinpoint accuracy allow them to strike targets anywhere on the globe in mere minutes dramatically reducing the time adversaries have to react or defend. This seismic shift undermines traditional war tactics and threatens to unravel current deterrent strategies. 
current Western missile defense systems stand little chance against these rapid-fire projectiles. Their incredible speed, erratic trajectory, and minimal radar cross-section combine to form an insurmountable challenge. Indicators suggest China is making significant strides in hypervelocity technology, with a string of successful tests fanning the flames of concern about U.S. readiness. Meanwhile, the U.S. grapples with a series of setbacks, hindering its hypersonic program's testing and development phases. The hypervelocity arms race isn't just about physical weaponry. It is a testament to a nation's technological sophistication and military might. In this new epoch, superpowers won't be defined merely by their conventional military clout, but by their mastery over frontier technologies like hypervelocity. China's startling advancements in hypervelocity capabilities, embodied by the unveiling of their hypervelocity wind tunnel alongside the U.S.'s apparent lag, places a spotlight on the United States and its ability to catch up in this vital technological arena, which could prove to be the fulcrum upon which rests the future of warfare. In June 2023, a rumble of triumph echoed from China as they unveiled a feat of technological prowess, their state-of-the-art hypervelocity wind tunnel. This monumental endeavor, nurtured since 2018, marked a new epoch in their aerospace journey. A delegation of 16 experts, drawn from many institutes and organizations, gave their nod of approval, triggering the commencement of operations. This trailblazing facility stands unmatched in its comprehensive performance parameters, which include effective experiment time, total temperature, total pressure, and the expansive size of the nozzle flow field. These details were revealed in a press statement, spotlighting the wind tunnel as a testament to China's technological edge. The tunnel, a super-large experimental instrument spanning 167 meters in length, boasts a nozzle exit of 2.5 meters and a test cabin diameter of 4 meters. According to the press release, with the capability to test airflows between 3 to 10 kilometers per second, reaching the staggering heights of Mach 30, the wind tunnel promises to supercharge China's development of aerospace transport systems and hypersonic aircraft. This innovative facility, the JF-22 Hypervelocity Wind Tunnel, in combination with the previously developed JF-12 Reproduction Wind Tunnel, provides China with a unique ground experimental platform. This combination can accommodate flight ranges for near-space aircraft, further solidifying China's position in aerospace leadership, as the Institute elaborated in the press release. Chinese aerospace pundits hailed this facility as a pivotal step toward shaping the future of civilian transportation systems. Yet its potential extends beyond civilian use, touching military applications and projectile designs. In one of the first trials conducted within this world-leading hypervelocity wind tunnel, Chinese media provided a tantalizing glimpse of the potential game-changer, a space-based craft being tested inside the tunnel. While this aircraft prototype may signal progress in civilian transportation, it could also hint at the beginnings of a Chinese space launch fighter program, presenting a compelling preview of the future. The design of the spacecraft seen in the footage bears a striking resemblance to air-launch space plane and mothership concepts previously shown by Chinese aerospace companies and academic institutions. The craft, sporting a delta-winged, dart-shaped silhouette, evokes memories of a design from wind tunnel test pictures and videos released by the China Academy of Aerospace Aerodynamics in 2019. These two-stage-to-orbit systems comprise a mothership aircraft that lifts the spacecraft to extreme altitudes before it rockets into space under its own propulsion. Many of these designs feature reusable space planes, capable of conventional runway landings and sometimes powered by advanced high-speed air-breathing jet engines, such as scramjets or ramjets. These two engines differ mainly in their inlet and combustion chamber constructions. The allure of two-stage-to-orbit concepts lies in their increased flexibility and unpredictability compared to traditional space launch rockets. Mothership aircraft can operate from any sufficiently large airbase or airport without requiring substantial static infrastructure and less preparation. However, these two-stage-to-orbit concepts typically have a catch, a limited payload weight capacity compared to conventional space launch rockets. Furthermore, there's potential to utilize these concepts to launch space planes for a range of missions beyond mere payload delivery, such as long-range intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and even strike missions or lethal on-orbit attacks. The operational JF-22 wind tunnel, 
designed for testing hypersonic weapons, marks a significant step in China's aerospace advancements and escalates the global hypersonic arms race. The JF-12's predecessor played a key role in developing the operational DF-17 hypersonic missile. Thus, it's safe to deduce that this more advanced facility will produce some of the most fearsome hypersonic weapons and the most groundbreaking aircraft of the near future. Raytheon Technologies CEO Gregory Hayes recently sent a stark warning to U.S. authorities terming hypersonic capability as, quote, the most destabilizing threat to the homeland. He cautioned, quote, the time to react is very, very short. The activation of China's JF-22 hypervelocity super tunnel and the footage of its initial tests could be seen as the final alarm bell, a sobering reminder of the pressing need for action. If not addressed urgently, China could attain unchallenged supremacy in the strategic field of hypersonic weaponry. But this isn't the only impending threat. The potential of Chinese strike spacecraft attacking at hypersonic speed adds another layer of urgency for Western authorities. This should serve as an imperative to close the development gap in hypersonic facilities and technologies. The clock is ticking. The world is on the precipice of a new era of warfare. It might soon be too late if swift, decisive actions are not taken. The countdown has begun. Triton Island, a mysterious outpost in the vast South China Sea, remained untouched and uninhabited for decades. Local fishermen knew it as a speck of white sand and lush greenery, a quiet observer to the powerful struggles in one of the world's busiest trade routes. At least, that was before China decided it wanted the island. The South China Sea, a vital artery for global commerce and a hotbed of territorial disputes, has emerged as an increasing flashpoint between Washington, Beijing, and other players. Any development on Triton Island, one of the smallest but most strategically valuable islands in the Pacific, sends ripples across the region. To some, the construction is a sign of danger, a potential escalation in an already tense standoff. To others, it is a claim of sovereignty, a bold statement in a complex geopolitical chess game that could reshape the balance of power in the Pacific. In a matter of weeks, however, the island began to transform. New images captured by satellite show China has begun a series of unusual construction projects on Triton. Spread over 5,700 square miles, almost the same distance from the Vietnamese coast and China's island province of Hainan, the Paracel Archipelago comprises 130 small coral islands and reefs. Because of their location and lack of native population, ownership has been disputed for centuries. Since the 1974 Battle of the Paracel Islands, the People's Republic of China has had de facto control of the archipelago. The battle, which took place toward the end of the Vietnam War, was a confrontation between the South Vietnamese Navy and the Chinese Navy for control of the vicinity. Since then, despite a 2016 ruling by an international tribunal that China's claim has no legal basis, the nation, shielded by what is reportedly the largest navy in the world, has claimed sovereignty. However, Vietnam and Taiwan all claim the Paracel. The United States, along with various neighboring countries of China, have leveled accusations against Beijing for employing gray zone strategies. These maneuvers are not formal acts of war, but are allegedly used to intimidate and exert control over the region. America regularly sends Navy ships on freedom of navigation operations near the Chinese-held islands. The island of Triton was the focus of one of those missions in 2018. One of the most important, and the westernmost and southernmost of the Paracel Islands, Triton is approximately 4,000 feet long by 2,000 feet wide, or 1.2 by 0.6 kilometers. Over the years, China only had a few buildings with radar arrays and a helipad on Triton Island. However, it all changed in early August 2023. Satellite images unveiled to the media on August 15th and 20th, respectively, show the latest developments in this strategically important island. The photographs show large numbers of vehicle tracks across almost all areas of the island and what look like containers and construction equipment. Additionally, a concrete dock lies inside a man-made harbor lined with seawalls, three radar domes, a large administrative building, a helipad, and what looks like living quarters. But the most startling and potentially dangerous revelation is a runway. As currently laid out, the runway would be over 2,000 feet long, enough to accommodate turboprop aircraft and drones, but not fighter jets or bombers. 
The latest image also clearly features a star from China's flag and a hammer and sickle, a symbol of China's ruling Communist Party. Clearly, while work is still at an early stage, it's startling just how rapid the progress has been so far. Construction of this airstrip only began in early summer at the most. Imagery analyzed from the area from mid-July shows no such activity. Despite the mainland being hundreds of miles from the archipelago, China claims about 90% of the South China Sea. As such, Triton is not the first island in this vast area to undergo Chinese infrastructure development. The 2023 satellite photos show construction similar to what China has already done on seven other artificial islands in the Spratly Group to the east, now equipped with complete airstrips and other military devices. However, the construction on Triton Island is less extensive, and large areas remain covered with sand and greenery. Following the construction of artificial islands in contested waters in 2022, speaking with the press, U.S. Indo-Pacific Commander Admiral John C. Aquilino stated that, quote, over the past 20 years, we have witnessed the largest military buildup since World War II by the Popular Republic of China. There are plenty of possibilities for the Triton Island constructions. It's possible that the runway could be expanded further to deploy larger aircraft. Still, the physical limitations of the island mean that it could not be made over about 3,100 feet without extending the island artificially. However, this is something China has already achieved in other areas and with no issues before. Only 150 miles from the Vietnamese mainland, the People's Liberation Army would persistently monitor Vietnamese military activities. In particular, setting up surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface missile systems here and supporting surveillance assets would allow China to field another layer of anti-access, anti-denial capability very close to Vietnam. The location of the Paracels Archipelago puts them right in the middle of the northern South China Sea. Nearby, there are massive Chinese military facilities that house its nuclear submarine forces, including the nation's fleet of Type 94 nuclear ballistic missile submarines, or boomers, which represent the country's second strike deterrent. Brunei, Malaysia, the Philippines, Taiwan, Vietnam, the US, Australia, and Japan all oppose China's reclamation of islands in the South China Sea. All these nations have expressed concern over China's infrastructure building and aggressive maritime claims. But according to the Chinese Foreign Ministry, reports about the Triton Island construction are inconsistent with the facts. China has refused to provide details of its island construction work, other than to say it is aimed at helping global navigation safety. It has also rejected accusations that it's militarizing the crucial waterway, through which an estimated $5 trillion in trade passes annually. China claims to be protecting its sovereignty, and it's the U.S. that threatens and undermines regional peace and stability with its planes and warships during close-in reconnaissance missions. As confirmed by Ministry Spokesperson Wang Wenbin, at a regular briefing in Beijing, also in August 2023, quote, China's construction activities on our own territory are legitimate and lawful and beyond reproach. Tensions over the South China Sea have escalated in recent months. Although China is Vietnam's biggest trading partner and the two countries' militaries have had close relations for decades, their territorial disputes in the South China Sea are serious. Recently, there have been multiple incidents where Chinese vessels rammed into Vietnamese fishing boats, sinking them, and even accusations of the Chinese kidnapping Vietnamese fishermen in the Paracels. China's latest building activity on Triton Island might push Vietnam closer to the U.S. Currently, America is considering upgrading its relationship with Vietnam to a strategic partnership or higher, with President Biden saying that same August that he would travel to Vietnam shortly. Raymond Powell, who studies China's maritime strategy at Stanford University's Gordian Knot Center for National Security and Innovation, expressed his opinion on whether the construction is an actual runway or a simple road. Quote, Regardless of which it turns out to be, it's a clear indication that China intends to make significant upgrades to its military outpost at Triton Island. For now, there's little that can actually be confirmed about the construction on Triton Island, and only time will tell what is actually being built there.